Let's create an animated message bubble. Begin by drawing a circle in the center of the canvas. Just like this. Next, go to the Fill Color properties and choose a color. I will go with blue. You can also use shapes from the library. Click on the Library tab here. Now you can choose from various shapes to complete your design. In this case, I want to add this triangle with rounded corners. All I have to do now is to adjust it next to the circle and make it look like a message bubble. Now you can switch back to the Elements tab and select both of the elements and adjust their position if needed. Great! Now let's create three animated dots to suggest a typing action. Select the Ellipse tool again and draw a small circle. I will disable the snapping option so I can scale it freely. And I'll also make it white. Now with the circle selected, make sure you have the playhead at second zero, then choose Opacity from the animator's list. Set the first keyframe to zero by dragging the Opacity slider all the way to the left at 0%. Then at 0.2 seconds, set the Opacity back to 100. I need the third keyframe as well to make the dot fade out again. This time, I'll go for another 4 milliseconds at 0.6 and duplicate the first keyframe here. So there is a simple blinking going on for now, but I need it to repeat three times. For that, I need to duplicate the same keyframes to repeat the blinking animation. I'll jump the playhead another two milliseconds and with the keyframe selected, I'll hit Control or Command D on my keyboard. And of course, I'll do the same once again for the third blink. I just have to hit Command D again after another two milliseconds. Great, now I have this first dot blinking three times. All I have to do now is to copy it. From the elements list, I'll right click on it, copy and paste options and duplicate. The copy will appear right on top of the original, which I'll drag it from its bounding box to the right and, and then rename it to ellipse two. I'll simply repeat the process and create another copy for the third dot rename it to Ellipse 3, and drag it away a little. Because all of the dots' keyframes are at the same positions, they will blink together in a perfect sync. Let's make sure they have an equal distance in between, so select them all and click on this option here to equally distribute them. Hit Command or Control G on your keyboard to group them, and adjust its position if needed. OK, now let's navigate to the elements and open the group. I will click on the second ellipse and then select all its keyframes from the timeline and drag them 2 milliseconds to the right. And of course, I'll drag the keyframes from the third ellipse 4 milliseconds as well. Now they will animate one after another simulating a loader for a message that is being typed. Let me disable the infinite loop from here and view it again playing only once. Great, the animation is done. Now let's just close the group and select it together with the other two elements to create a main group by hitting Command or Control G on the keyboard. Let's also rename it to Message Bubble. I can now save this animation as an animated asset in the library and add it to other projects. To do so, I need to have the group selected and click on the Save to Library button here, or Right-click and choose Save to Library from the menu. Then you can find the newly added asset in the Upload section, here, right above the Shapes and Symbols section. And that's it! You can now open other projects and reuse this animation from the library. All you have to do is click on it and it will appear in the canvas.